Hello, buddy. This is Sophie Plays, and welcome back to this the Tradition Restaurant. So last time we found Lucy and dropped her off at a repair shop when we went to school. Now it's after school, we are back at the repair shop, so let's see how Lucy is doing. Antique shop, Yokoso! Nanika, Osagashi deska? Okay. As soon as I set my foot inside, I was immediately greeted by a few female staff. The voice had a sweet, vibrant texture. It really caught me off guard. I never expected a girl to be in a store. I guess she's a part timer. I turn around to face the person calling out to me, and my jaw drops to the floor. You. Her face lights up when she finally recognizes me. いや、と来てくれたんですね、マスター。首を長くして待っておりました。オッケー。ロックサイクシーズグッド。イワズエンドリングルシーバンタイムバイクリーミーアトドア。オンマイアイスプレイトリックスオンミー。There's I double check. You're Lucy, right? Hi. So this is you. Lucy is not just a name. Lucy is. Well, guess that settles it. How do you end up like this? Hi, Master. How do you end up like this? That voice in your face. And you're standing on your own, right? Hi, Mochiron des Master. Lucy, I'm a Nihon Ashi de Tatu Iron des. Eh, she looks so proud. Lucy crossed her upper chest, looking proud. I mean, there's not really something to, to be proud of, but thinking back to how she was before, it was damn well impressive. Well, you do look better now, so there's nothing wrong with you. So there's nothing wrong with you anymore? Hi, Master. Ima no Lucy wa karada ga karuku. Sugu ni demo tobeso na kurai desu yo. Aw, she's so cheerful. For emphasis, she spins and plays like excited about Rio. She had the appearance of a mature, well peppered maiden. Yet at the same time, looked silly like a child. But her spin abruptly ends as she crashes onto the floor. And there goes my peace of mind. <laughs> Lucy smiles sheepishly. Well, I'm at a loss of words. That deceptively human voice. Her vibrant personality flows such emotion. motion. Her face displaying all manners of expressions. Each movement bursts of spirit and passion. To say that I'm amazed. Would be a gross understatement. My brain turned to mush. I can't under under a single word. I won't show on the outside. Sweetest lose control of her emotions. Well, that plus. I don't admit to it. I'm surprised. That's one heck of a change in just a few hours. <laughs> ah, she's adorable. I'm complimenting the guy who fixed you up, of course. So <laughs> uh, The look of disappointment on her face was quite surreal. How can I possibly explain this? Magic? Has she been enchanted by a witch? Old childhood stories came up to mind. The man to the fox who desired to become human. The little mermaid who also wished to become human. What happened to them? I just say they didn't get a happy ending. And as she put the man to the fox, but the, in the original Little Mermaid, she committed suicide after the prince married someone else and returned to the sea and turned into foam. Anyways, this robot makes me think. If that Little Mermaid's wish ever came true, 
Wouldn't she be celebrating just like this? Even if it's a cup. Back to the matter at hand, which is... Where's the repairman? See, what happened to the guy that put you in charge? Hey! He's not here? Who got his sword? Okay. An assistant. Where? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, where is this assistant? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't see anyone. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> well, you're just messing up Lucy, aren't you? Well, that's your check to win our sales. She's having more highs and lows than the back over patient. Feeling bad for her, it's time to talk back. Okay, I get it. You're the one in charge for time being. So, this must be. Good girl. She sure bounced that fast. Moreover, what's the deal? What's the deal with Impairman? Maybe you just need to take care of the song the first day he's met her? To such a ditzy robot? You have to be a few cards short of a float deck to seem down a smart idea. I'm not thinking about anything. Can you, can you stop calling me master all the time? Ah, one of those cases. At least my name is dead. Okay. True, I watched that last time. Let's run through the choices. Hmm, well, let's go with Sophie. Sophie? That'd be a better name. Huh. The name's Mr. Handsome. Well, I guess Sophie would be a fairy name for a guy. <laughs> oh, busted, I guess. Oh, come on. Just give me a second, please. Right, sorry about that. So, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. So, you're telling me I'm ugly? <laughs> <laughs> she curls up instinctively, thinking she might be scolded for messing up. Okay, ready. How do you think I'm pulling your leg? What? Oh come on, you're gonna keep fucking this me. Fourth wall. Fourth wall break. Forget it. Just call me master. Hi, master. That's gonna get awkward in company, I guess. So I guess there's a lot of main room, main androids around, so. I guess they should have called it owner's master. What? What do you want? I really have a soft spot for androids and robots. I don't know why. They just seem so innocent, especially the new, new ones. Or I'm saying. Why are you messing with 
いえいえめっそうもございませんマスターと呼べる方がいてとっても嬉しいですだからなんとなく呼んでみましたうん、wow. Ten minutes later. The man in question finally shows up. As soon as, as, soon as we lock eyes, the guy makes a beeline towards me and nearly pulls me over as he pleads. Please let me have Lucy! What kind of screw situation is this? It's like he's asking for, it's like he's asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. I shoot back. No, I will not let you marry her. <laughs> eh? What are you on about? You hire something? That's my line! What is he doing? The no one takes some kind to protect himself. Maybe I got a little bit carried away. Kid, how about I pawn that android off of you? Now, why am I not surprised? You want me to sell her? Yeah, I can give you this much. He takes out his calculator and shows me the figures. I'm assuming that's quite a lot of money. My mind closes up for five seconds. Are you serious? Of course. What do you think? Not a bad deal for a student, right? It's a ton of dough here for an adult. If the state is racist, I don't think he had a scarce that kind of capital. He's obviously desperate. I stare at Lucy in silence. The android shows him like a statue. The face of her looks almost, almost looks sad. Like a slave about to be sold off to, at auction. Well, maybe that's a bit extreme. But that's pretty much what's happening, isn't it? He's not about to be in your life or anything. They turn back to face the repairman. You pay this much? Do you really think Lucy is worth that kind, of, that kind of money? Of course! He yells in excitement. Jeez. Is different much? Listen carefully. Any decently priced robot model comes with an AI or a module that allows them to mimic human emotions. You know this much, right? Sure. Well, creating such a module is an incredibly complex process. Even then, do you know how well they perform? Hmm. Compared to a real person, they're still a long ways off. Right. Even cutting edge, the mimicking emotion is a rudimentary at best. We're still not at that stage where it's considered genuine. Seekan's beginning to see the picture here. Looking back at Lucy, I said to put together for you trying to tell me. You're a shock one. Teaching kids for the these days. So, is that what I'm saying? <laughs> ah. I'm gonna be serious here. Since we're talking about selling Lucy to him. So you're telling me that Lucy is exceptionally intelligent robot capable of processing natural human emotions. Honestly, I was quite surprised about that as well. I've never seen such a robot that could emulate a real person so well. Even the new models nowadays reveal their flaws after a very long conversation. I couldn't sense any particularly out of place while chatting with Lucy. It just it felt like just like it felt just like talking to a real person. Yeah. Yep. Put it simply, this is a person made out of metal, a human robot, an Iron Ma Maiden. You're going to say an Iron Man, aren't you? And a copyright infringement to kick in. A revolution in the robotics industry. 
Very pretty Lucy must be a true genius. Uh-huh. That aside, you could see kind of people calling Lucy as a cat on the way's video. Nobody likes cat cat and picture lawsuits. Of course, of course. Anyway, the she was such a spectacular robot. Would she really be thrown away like that? That's a good point, yeah. I did want to do something weird. You know, sort of a built-in protection feature that was something a robot from working hard for me. A protection feature? Read the bell. Something the jumper is written, Lucy might have mentioned yesterday. Whatever it was, she seems to be doing, doing fine now. And you removed it? Yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Since it was just one of those you put on display models. I'm just curious how the part of the robot had been such a scene before throwing it away. He appears to be lost in thought. Hmm. Might mean that the inventor wanted to keep this new technology sealed away from humanity. If not, then maybe. Well, there was a serious bug. That's what I saw too, so I read some of the test but found nothing. It's safe to say she won't be harming anyone. Uh, I have to say for now. Why would she ever want to harm people? I'm just saying that she probably. Prob I'm just saying that she prob properly obeys the stream laws of the products. At least she won't be a threat. Ah. Uh, the three laws of robotics. One, a robot may not injure a human being or assure in action allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except when where such orders will conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. These laws enable humans to keep control of robots. They make sure that humans will always have a sword in the robots. That's how humans can avert any catastrophe. I've, ever, I've heard that if a robot ever disobeys one of the laws, it would immediately shut, down and shut itself down under any circumstances. That's why there aren't any glaring flaws since it's this simple. Well, there's also a zero flaw, which I can't remember at the moment. Uh, can you want to look real quick one second, please? Zero flaw robotics. There we go. Zero flaw. The robot may not harm humanity. Also, in action, allow humanity to come home. Hmm. That's not quite what I remembered as I was, but sure we'll follow up first for now. I don't think it plays a role to the story, so it doesn't really matter. I should have focused back to numbers to spray on the calculator. That's the MOC. I reminded of the forward on puppy, and it's really bothering me. <laughs> oh? With sudden determination, she approaches me. I never get tired of seeing Lucy so depressed. You're evil. It seems to satisfy the hidden status within me. She's really trying to put on a show for me. Essentially, she's a self advertising product. I don't see that every day. But what if you go this far for me? You'd be too cruel to let her go on go at this point. I'm not going to make a deal, so don't worry. 
As I finish my sentence, the looks on their faces were different as night and day. Their feminist sucks while Lucy breathes a sigh of relief. Anyways, she's good to go now, right? There you go. I raise a resignity for over the money. All my hard earned cash. I don't need a repairment success payment after a moment's hesitation. She's better. But be careful not to put anything on her legs for a while. Keep an eye and cut down on legs on insurgents. Sure. So you gotta pay Pinky back again? Wonderful. She's not too heavy, so I can manage. Takes all your help. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. This guy's really got a bad. Got to creep video out over the android. Maybe I'll throw him a bone. Look, what the regular checkups? Look, sound good? Okay, but make sure to treat her well. And don't overwork her too much, alright? See you later, Miss. See you later, too, Lucy. You come visit anytime. The look on his face while we're being goodbye to this new is truly a spectacle. This time, it seemed to be the father, father seeing his father away. Let's try that again. This time, he seemed to be the father seeing his daughter leave with another man. <laughs> Guys completely out of it. I definitely made the right choice. <sighs> She's adorable. Exiting, we head out to the sidewalk. I stopped with my tracks. In silence, I kneel down facing away from the sea. Hop on. I add an explanation to make sure that she understands. That means you lightly put your arms around my neck and climb onto my back. Lightly is important. Ano, master, chotto kiki shimasu ga. Hmm. What is it? Ano, boka da to omotte imasu ka? I guess I no longer have to have to worry about being choked to death. <laughs> well, she wasn't that way ahead of earlier. I feel her weight gradually shift onto my back. For a robot, she's very really light. She's hardly measured to weigh as a normal girl. Huh? No, it's nothing. As soon as she comes onto my back, I can't help but feel such a fragrant aroma rise in front of her body. It's neither too intense or nor fleeting. It gently spreads evenly around my nose. Such a sweet, fruity smell reminiscent of a beautiful girl. Yet there is a hint of spice akin to a mature woman. Does it fail to simulate the mind of a teenage boy comes with purity? Uh, okay. This is bad. I've never experienced something like this. It didn't matter. It didn't happen this morning, but for now. Try because of the smell. I wasn't here earlier. Give me a little thing, I just really tried to get a grasp of the situation. Right. Sensors, of course. She's measuring my heart rate. That's not fair. Give me a little embarrassed for getting that nervous wreck right now. I'm able to hold back. I try to be calm and just to myself. This smell, what is it? Huh. Huh. She takes out a bottle of perfume with him amongst uh, many other makeup accessories. Jeez, that guy is scary. Really scary. He's the type of person who spent the whole day forcing his friends out into different clothing. That's not the worst analogy. She considered that as animal abuse. Wouldn't this be kind of some kind of robot harassment? Hmm, well, I don't know. All this stuff just for a robot. What a silly guy. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not sure how far along the technology has come. Like, 
whether or not they have the laws for you know, for protection against ro for robots. But it's hard to argue that she is not human at this point. Can I get some seduced by a robot? Well, there goes our thinking you have a good view. Wait till Dr. Kiyos hears about this. What are you going on, going on about now? The purpose seems to have sound irritated. Doesn't affect her in any way, however. Uh, I'll be nice to her. Well, you're lighter than I expected. I just want to go from her back. Will the robot really feel that bad of him for a bite? Probably not. I don't know. Humans can't be expected to understand a robot's heart. Nope, that's for sure. Humans barely understand each other's hearts. Soon enough, the streets became immersed in the orange glow of the evening sun. The senior and Sinji were slowly than usual today. Maybe it's because I've been carrying Lucy, carrying Lucy on my back. But that's, but it's not that a lot of time has passed. Winter was just on its way. Ah. As if it's what is, he's increasingly shorter days. Lucy hasn't said anything for a while. I still go to her, wonder if she's a state, but she's not. She appears to be lost in thought, staring at the reason in sight. Must be new to her. She looks like a child inside a pleasant dream. I can see her I can see her eyes sparkling. Is it really that fascinating? This place. I can't say if I agree with that. I like downtown, there aren't any, as many distractions here to keep us busy. Nor are we near any beautiful landscapes. We're just walking down a plain old street in front of anywhere. The part of this place you find marvelous. Everything? Oh, she has memories of her past. That's important. こんな風に散歩する機会は数えるほどしかありませんでした。そうですね。強いて言えば、こうして動いている間にも周りの景色が変わっていくのが素晴らしいと思います。ルーシーの知らない風景がまた別の何かに変わっていく姿がこうしてゆっくり景色を眺められるということがそういうのがとても不思議に思います本当に素晴らしいと思います I couldn't relate to the sensation she just described. She's a 
so innocent. Maybe I could move on, child. Huh? What is it? What's with you all of a sudden? They caught me off guard by the unexpected apology. Has she really done anything wrong? No, not that I think of. ルーシーが今日迷惑ばかりかけましたよね。申し訳ございません。元々は落ち着いた性格で制作段階では他人を理解できる包容力をメインコンセプトにして設計されたのですが。I found a strange how Lucy was telling me what kind of person she was supposed to be. If anyone other than Lucy had told me the same thing, I'd probably want to laugh at them. Anyone by himself will never be able to find out what kind of person he truly is. Sitting in front of a mirror reveals all the flaws of your body. Sitting in front of another person reveals all the flaws of it in your personality. If you ever want to find out something about yourself, it needs to be reflected back at you by something else. That is why attempting to describe your own personality is the same way as describing what kind of person you actually want to be. It'd be just a bunch of pretentious nonsense. But this is only the case for humans. Lucy is an android. She's not human. That's why it doesn't sound strange coming from her. Oops. Well, it's such a natural explanation about how she felt. She was happy to meet her for my first master. And she was happy to be able to finally move around again. You never served anyone else before? Hi. Master is the first master. Is that so? This is a new model that no one has ever touched. The line is thinking sounds dirty, but that's all I need. Yeah. The lab, did you say? Oh, I'm sure you treat her well. たくさんの人が喜んでくれたんです。特に真面目に貢献した時にはルーシーは本当に賢いと頭を撫でながら褒めてくださいました。ルーシーはそれがとても嬉しかった。嬉しくてもっとたくさんのことを学び。もっとたくさん話をしました。そうすればするほど、もっと可愛がってくれたんです。うん、that she was learning too fast, perhaps. For an AI to learn that fast, it could be a bit scary for humans. We were probably just testing her abilities. In my mind, I found the whole scenario unsettling. To Lucy, however, it is such a memory of her past. But there is an important question yet to be answered. Then why were you abandoned, exactly? I've always been meaning to ask her, but I can't easily bring myself to do so. I asked myself why. Maybe it's because I'm starting to care about this robot's feelings. I shake my head. I just pray nuts. It's only because she sounds like a real person. It's a dangerous thought. Let's get it out of my head. Why don't you come around? I put out the question. Then why were you abandoned? Ooh. Lucy goes silent. Nothing is said for a while. The quietness stretches into an awkward silence. 
I saw him regret asking the question. I'm sure there's a different reason for it, but that's just, that's just how she interpreted it. With those words, Lucy finally progressed in silence. いつからかみんなルーシーに笑いかけなくなりました。みんなルーシーを褒めてくれなくなりました。みんなルーシーのメインシステムを起動してくれなくなりました。予備電力で時間が経つのだけは感知できました。何もできないまま、ただ時間だけが過ぎていく感覚だけを感じ、そしてある日、Lucy goes silent once more. Then one day she found herself left in the dust. It's probably what she wanted to say. Maybe he didn't like something about her, or he found a significant flaw, significant flaw within her design. I don't like the fact that they just tossed her aside after giving her so much love and attention. Are they being too inconsiderate? Small rage falls inside me, directed at those cool researchers with no sense of responsibility. I never came my senses after a few seconds. I became surprised at how angry I was. What was I thinking? They were destroying a way I failed experiment. The object on my back is nothing more than an impressive snake. She's not real. She's not a living creature. It's only natural that useless machinery is thrown away. There's no need for me to be so angry. You trying to convince yourself that I'm more amazing. Oh. It's nothing. It's not measuring that all the time. It's in order. I would rather you not to measure anything from now on. There's another silence, but this time not an unpleasant one. I just can't seem to figure out this robust stream of thought. どのくらいの時が流れたのかわかりません。でも、ルーシーにとっては永遠にも等しい時間でした。周りは暗闇で、人の気配など全くなくて、とても暗くて、とても静かで、とてもそんな中。I don't remember talking to you like that. Okay. You said she was going to get turned to shreds. Lucy's voice was You're overreacting. She's definitely going all over board with this. I just happened to notice her while Kaz was passing by. There were only a few words which didn't contain any significant meaning. And there was only an odd woman's whim to take her home. I was surprised those simple actions were such a big help to the robot. Hello, Face. Welcome, welcome. Playing in visual novel this time. I don't usually do this or play visual novel at all, but a friend of mine really recommended this one. So, we'll see how things go. It's about a real android, Lucy here, who was abandoned in the junkyard, and we, as a main character, picked her up and took her home. 
We just got Kaha repaired and here we are. Being able to say the most embarrassing things without hesitation. I guess that's one advantage of being a robot. I can feel my face beginning to flush. Quickly duck in order to hide my embarrassment. Shut up. I think I'll make you pay for where you're worth, so you better be ready for it. Hi, Master! <laughs> What's so funny? Why do you keep laughing like that? It's freaking me out. I don't know. She's just so happy to be alive. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy quietly lifts her cheek against my shoulder. Sensation of her soft skin causes me to flinch. She's, she feels very much different compared to this morning. As if I'm, it's, it feels as if I'm carrying a real person on my back instead of a robot. I start to wonder what be, could be causing all this difference in perception. perception. Was it just a placebo effect? Or has something really changed since the morning? Something really did change. Was it me or the robot? I continue to ponder over the questions on my way, on my way home. I never managed to come, come up with an answer. Well, it would be hard to answer this. Yes, it's three walls again. Definitely a recurring scene in the, in the story. Maybe I'll play a big part later on. October 2nd, yeah. I locked the front door and entered the house. Guess we're home. Oh. I like you, Joe. I could sense someone's presence inside. I hear a couple voices coming from the television inside the living room. My father appears to have returned home already. Makes me feel uneasy. I effortlessly, effortlessly remove my shoes on using, using only my feet. Come to think of it, I was already home alone. It's been this way since I've grown old enough to take care of myself. Before that, we used to have a housekeeper watching over the place. However, that was only until I began middle school. From then on, I was always with by myself. I, could, I would eat breakfast alone, I would eat dinner alone. The cycle would repeat endlessly. I don't even remember the last time all of us ate dinner together as a family. Nope, there's only about uh, an hour and a half in. Very, very, very early on. Come see her, where's her mom? Did she die? I don't know. There's, there's no such thing as a home cooked meal in this household. I eat, I've eaten so many kinds of kind of instant foods that, in my life that I've come to memorize every part of every brand. That's not healthy. My father puts his work before family. My new letter follows my father everywhere to support him while she's practically ignoring me. Okay, so the mother, your birth mother is somewhere, and your father remarried a little bit. Okay. That is my family. At this point, it feels like a place to see someone actually at home. The father is on the couch watching television. They're back. He looks like a stereotypical, strict Asian father saying. I would know, I don't doubt like that. He doesn't even turn around to face me. It implies that he's not in a good mood. Yes, father. You're very late. I checked the time. It wasn't actually that late. There are times that when I'll be back much later. I wonder if this man even knows how old I am. 
<sighs> Where have you been wandering around for so long? Don't you know that you'll be in college soon? I don't bother replying. Says the guy with a repeating any attention to me. I say to myself, I don't get along too well with my father. Our relationship should that. Our relationship compares badly with other families. Excuse me for that, one second. Right, sorry about that. But that's to be expected. We've never spent much quality time together. Going to the zoo or playing soccer together. I don't have any of those fond memories that any of the other kids my age probably have. My earliest memories are of my father's stern face. Wow. So it would be even more bizarre if we actually got along. I just said in silence, no man launches his next attack. Are you not listening to me? He stayed as a bar looking at me. I've gotten used to riding around business. Keep their own devices. Solve any conflicts within the family. You would not really need to sit down together and talk about it. But my father doesn't think there's any need, any need for that. He seems that we've seen the find the way it is. It'd be really painful to talk face to face with that man though. I just stopped by somewhere on, on my way home. Yeah, I was still a very joke exchange. As long as it's a, and it doesn't make him angry, that's good enough for me. See, it's not that easy. We just need to maintain the peace between us. It's always been this way. As usual, I try my best not to rock, rock the boat. I don't know what you kids are up to these days. But remember that students like you should be studying. Of course. I'm saying this for your sake. So stop hanging around with those brats that only care about having fun. You can't afford to lose sight of the main goal. Stay focused. I'll be going to my room now. That's it, I tried to make my escape. My conversations will usually end about here. But let's see, who will be deciding all this time besides what's in my ear? Oh no. I had to think of whether I should tell her or not, but in the end, I quietly whispered back. Yeah. Lucy has my shoulders. Please don't make this any harder than it has to be, Aunt Lucy. I have no choice but to grant her wish. Maybe Lucy's voice had caught by surprise. Because my father had finally turned to face me. He was wearing a bewildered foot look. Who's your guest? With a wide smile, Lucy crosses down to the edges of her skirt. And she performs a flawless skirt scene there with her princess and Miss. Miss. What? Is this a robot? His attitude changes completely. Sharpness in his voice penetrates every part of my body. Lucy doesn't seem to notice. Or rather, she's pretending not to. She continues with a smile. Sawji, Sentaku, Biori, Nandemo, Makase Kudasai. I'm sorry, but there's nothing we need from a robot in this family. I suggest that you look for someone else to stay. Oh, I'm sorry, but there's nothing we need from a robot in this family. I suggest that you look this is not looking good. Meanwhile, Lucy continues to ramble on, completely oblivious to what is about to happen. Oh, 
お父様が心配なさっている息子さんのための教育も可能ですもちろん素晴らしい教師の教育法を厳選して参考にしていますそれ以外にも優秀な機能はたくさんありますお裁縫や不自由のない暮らしのための家政婦の仕事など。
Something is invaded. I can no longer come up here, so. I turn around for and stop off with my room. Food will see along with me. Master! This is Izzy. Lucy originally makes a short call to my father and turns along. Behind me, I hear my father yelling. I show it all out of uh, my mind range is no deal. I showed it all out, this is my mind range is no deal of a power. Entering my room, I lock the door behind me. I hear my father yelling and continues banging on my door for a while. I'm not sure. Yep, I'm not sure how many minutes have gone by. It seems like an eternity. Even though I block my ears, I can see a sense of floor shaking. I curl my body and wait for a moment to pass. <sighs> the clock slowly ticks away. After a long while, I am covered by ears. The noises have spot has noises that have stopped. I finally begin to relax. As my head eventually clears up, I realize what I've done. Phew. I finally lost control. I've yelled at my father for the first time in my life. It's been a while since the last time I was hit by my father. It was like the rupture of a dam after so long, so much pressure and strain. Seeking back, it is strange that we've never had any good connotations like this, with, like this one. Our relationship was an unstable bomb, but I always managed to prevent it from going off. Today was different. Well, it was about to happen, happen sooner or later. Oof. I'm trying to slow down my breathing. Oh, no. Lucy calls out to me cautiously. What is it? I don't know what she means by alright. Nothing's alright. But I know what she meant. So I gave a small mass. Uh, so I gave a small nod, anyways. The wet handkerchief from who knows where. Lucy wipes down on a sweaty forehead. Three staff for perfumes is surprisingly calming. What is it? <laughs> My face quickly becomes controlled of anger. What the heck? Are you also telling me you're a bad person? Lucy shakes her head. But I don't お父様と話すときはもう少し優しく言った方がいいと思います。家族ではないですか。きっと心の中では傷ついていると思いますよ。ああ。どうしてかだんだんはん。When Let's see, who happens for me about to close completely still. Both her eyes suddenly lose her power. After a while, she streams back to life. Oh, is that what it is? 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 Oh, that's about right. What are you talking about? Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. Lucy, 
Yeah, it's going back. It's not going to go well. What can you possibly care about watching from watches just for just five minutes? What did you exactly find out about us? How can you see something so ignorant without knowing anything about the past 18 years we spent together? The android turns his head, looking confused. Answer this. How many minutes are there in a day? How many in a year? The global 18 years. As expected from a robot, her calculations are quick and accurate. That's right. Out of those uh, 9 million 460 down on the 800 minutes I spent with my daughter, my daughter you see the only 5. That's a that's less than 0 0.0001%. You need to get them out. It's my fault that you have to witness such something like this. But that man is always finding the smallest excuse to teach me something that only he himself believes. Sinkinga? Sinkinga has thrown out an entire pan of pizza because a single pan of pizza is not only. Where is his logic in that? Lucy's eyes lose their focus, just like before. Could she be looking up something inside her memory chip again? Maybe she's doing a search online? She returns after a moment. Oh, I have no problems, Master. As I said earlier, Lucy didn't understand it I figured as much. Cause and effect. The universe operates on this purpose of all. The father neglects his son, and of course, the son and the grandfather in return. Who who had a bigger fault here? Then, master. What? I said the pizza was one slice of pepperoni. I think it would be a perfect pizza. I think it would be a perfect pizza. So that's simple. You have to cook the. Pepperoni to get it to the right temp that cooks temperature and stuff like that. How are you gonna do that? Put the whole pizza back in the oven? How much longer can I do with this smiling care for your robot? I lie down on bed while hugging my shoulder head. And I don't know where my trademark freezes. This is why I hate robots. They're not so stupid. <laughs> Lucy appears to be brooding over something. After a while, she finally speaks up again. Master, the problem is that we have to be the one who has 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 to be the one Shouldn't the old guy be the more mature and understanding? I'm a high school student. I do stuff on impulse. Do you get what I did for me by that? Sorry, not a wakarimas. Oh, to buy me no lish so shinagara. Madogara so what they could. So much in a cotta this year, eh? She has a work perception of puberty. Pretty work perception. <laughs> kind of exaggerated, but as long as she gets her point. Yeah. I'm one of those kids these days that the adults are always bothering and going on about. It's natural that I have trouble controlling my emotions, so don't expect too much from me. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't seem that way more mature, way more mature than other kids my age. That's just how they're relevant though. But sure anyone will take the family matters very seriously. But, How do you know? Huh. Haha. <laughs> You've learned so much from meeting him just, just for just a few minutes. You're really impressive, I tell you. I don't have to worry about the time. Lucy's in the back of the room, there's a lot of big news that's been revealed to Lucy. Well, having a whole collection of history of the news that's been revealed to Lucy. 
Sources. What kind of sources? Wikipedia? Reddit? Fortran? <laughs> Ignore my offers. ぬすぎきにおっさされているお父様の行動パターン及びお父様は義務感があり、その反面とても真面目で頑固な性格の典型的な亭主関白でいらっしゃいます。さて、感情を抑えることが家庭にとっての美徳だと思っておられます。オッ
we're working the next day. Okay. I will be calling this episode here. We found Lucy in our house, da? but it looks like. Da? But it looks like we're also in a restaurant, so especially with the father around. Hopefully, seems to work out for the best later. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.